Welcome back to the garden of I have not eaten solid food in seven days since I started doing celery juices. But this is it. I'm back to eat today. Oh, he could cook, cook, can he? He can cook, cook, huh? <laughs> what up, you guys? Back with another one today. Seven days off the celery juice. We're getting into some solid food here. A little Italiano Rustica. Okay, we got the Spadini or Spaducci skewers with my own little whipped up sort of aioli thing. I don't know what I was doing. It was just in my head. It came together. But grilled bread, steak skewers. We got a little mushroom, walnut, cheese, honey, oil, vinegar salad. And we got the fried halloumi with a nice little like rustic cherry tomato sauce. All whipped from the scratch from your guy sitting in his backyard on his new table that he just got, which is amazing. We got nature, we got the birds, we got hunger, and we got a pour up. So before we do anything more, we must bring it back to the basics and pour up. Now, that's not alcohol. I promise you I haven't had alcohol in two weeks and I'm not having alcohol till at least August or when I reach my goals, which I hope will be by August. Um, outside of that, I do have half a Pepsi that I had half of already while I was doing this. Uh, diet of course but we are pouring up today because hey i've been hella disciplined i've lost myself about 15 pounds this will put on a few and then i'm gonna walk the shit off tonight and then uh we're gonna figure out how we recalibrate for the remainder of this experiment journey weight loss but i tell you what these eating videos that you're gonna be seeing like the cooking and stuff it's gonna get real this is the new this is the new vibe you guys it's summer we're gonna be outside natural light eating and uh cooking real cooking so as one might assume i'd like to get into this to make it easier on myself i am going to go course by course of course I'll just put some homies off to the side but this is what i want first Check that out, the fried halloumi. I'm not exactly an expert. I don't know exactly what kind of cheese halloumi is to be honest. All I know is you can fry it and it's delicious. So, inside look into that, in and around, close up cuts. That basil, those capers. All of that. The blistered cherry tomato skins. Seven days since. And it's been a ride. Yeah, it's weak. It's kind of like a cheese curd. Super squeaky. Mm. That sauce. Something else. So easy. I wanted fresh basil. I didn't have any in the store. So I got the tube squeeze one. Still good. All right, we got half of that out of the way. I'm gonna freshen up the palate with some salad. There you go, arugula, sauteed mushrooms done with vinegar, walnut, Parmesan, a little bit of white wine vinegar, some canola oil. I like canola oil. I don't like olive oil. It's just funky to me. And then honey. You guys, I promise you, you have to have the honey. It ties everything together. The sweetness balances out the vinegar and honey and uh, cheese and nuts go together perfectly. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. Like I said, or like you know, construction it's just happening by my house. Can't do it. Anything about it. It's so, it's very stressful.
Mm. When you get the nut, oh. The salad's amazing. The peppery of the arugula, the sweet, the acidity, the earthiness from the, the mushroom, the cheese, the nuts, those umami flavors. Ooh, mommy. Mm hmm Make the salad for your lady or your man. They'll be happy times. If you're afraid of mushrooms, omit the mushrooms and it's still super good. But I love mushrooms. Mm. So I gotta ask you guys a weird little question. It was on my mind. And that is, this is super random and way off topic of anything, but do you have this weird thing that I do when I go to like convenience stores? Do you have like not trust the first pack phobia? So the first thing hanging, you kind of like feel it and you're like, that doesn't feel like as much as supposed to be in there. Even though a very intelligent machine that is perfected measuring out 55 grams or whatever it is has packaged them. Do you ever just kind of like feel around the other bags just to make sure you're not getting ripped off like five grams? I do it all the time. <laughs> I always think to myself, like, does anybody else have, like, consumer of, like, corner store items phobia like me? Like, feel as if you're about to get ripped off by the first pack. I can't be the only one. You can leave the comment down below. I'll read it at the end of my journey because I'm going to go through all the comments at the end of this because I'm not reading comments right now. Which, by the way, is so zen blissful. <laughs> I can't lie. I understand why certain YouTubers just upload and go live their life. You have so much more peace of mind. It's insane how much more peaceful it is to not have to read through comments sometimes. But part of me will always want to read my comments. So I'm going to get back to it eventually. But for now, I'm just being super disciplined and not doing it. And it's uh, very chill. But at the end of this, I will be going through them and uh, just probably doing a shout out video highlighting a bunch of people, a bunch of names who consistently were showing up and spreading mad love and being positive and things like that. So at the end of this all, I might even do a video reading through some comments uh, and I might, uh, not might, I will do a video with like shout, out, shout outs to like specific people who were keeping it legit, legit. Okay, so this right here, steak skewer. Just a, uh, like a New York strip I got. Simple, you saw a little uh, oil, salt, pepper, that's it. And then the, like the aioli I made, 
but if you've never had grilled steak and bread together like you never had like grilled a grilled piece of bread with steak seasoned you're missing out Oh my god. My first time having bread and like like a true carb, like a real carb. In like twenty over twenty days, probably over three weeks. But it's not that much. I'm not gonna eat all of them. Probably. We'll see. Mm-hmm. The salty, the char. A little bit of heat from the pepperoncini. I did sour cream. Sour cream and mayo, so it's like fatty, but it's also got like that sour cream cut to it. Cook the steak fully through. I like it like that. In this scenario, I can definitely try try them. I ran the gamut a bit. I set my barbecue temp pretty high. I thought my, I might have come close to burning them. Ended up being perfect. But you do want your barbecue pretty high because you need to achieve that char. Now this is something I'm intrigued to do. Have a little bit of this on there. You know what I mean? Wait till this van goes by. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh, another car. Mm hmm. Forgot to bring myself a cloth. Or a rag of any sort. But whatever. When I was making the video, I when I spooned on this the aioli or whatever here, I was like, do I put a little balsamic? I did, it's good. The one definite downside to eating outside, insects. Annoying, but worth it. Eating outside is so chill. Okay. Maybe another bite of this. And, uh, call it a meal. Pretty full. Obviously, the stomach capacity is not going to be what it normally is. And on that note, going forward, I'm trying to calibrate, figure out how I'm going to proceed here. I wanted to do those big two fasts 
to really just cleanse myself. Cleanse out the intestines, get a good flush, give my, my body time to go into autophagy, get some autophagy benefits. Uh, you know, now that I've legitimately lost some weight, a good amount of weight, that's like real weight, kind of, in a sense, because it's staying down. From here, I want to implement a more one meal a day or like refeed day, but every couple days, like maybe 48 hours, maybe 72s, do some fast, eat fast, eat fast. None of these five or seven, like not, not these huge long runs, but just healthy eating, mostly keto or low carb. Like this is very low carb, except for the bread, but if I didn't have the bread, this would be perfect. Um, but I really wanted the bread today, just to, I just needed it with the steaks skewer scenario but yeah I want to readjust and go about this in a more uh, balanced way now so I will have to have one more bite of this because I can't seem to get away from wanting to eat it and wrap that one up here Hope y'all enjoyed it. I certainly did. And now I have a bunch of dishes and shit to do. But before that, I'm gonna relax a bit here. And then I gotta go for a walk, a two hour walk. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.